Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, our rock and redeemer. Amen. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I thank God for this wonderful opportunity to be with you here this evening. In the season of Lent, the Holy Week is important because we meditate upon the sufferings of our Lord Jesus Christ. On this Holy Monday, here at CSA, Wesley English Church, Igmo. I would like to draw your attention to the scripture that was read to us from Luke chapter 9, verses 18 to 27. I would like to read verses 22 and 23. Luke 9, 22 and 23. Jesus said, The Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and scribes, and be killed on our third day, be raised. And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow him. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow him. Be good to the Christ. Kill Jesus in voice. To deny themselves, to take up their crosses daily, and to follow Christ. This call comes to the public, to the crown. I pray to say that today we will meditate upon the cross and discipleship, cross and discipleship. Jesus had disciples. We usually say Jesus had twelve disciples. But, 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 but Jesus, 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 Jesus had many more disciples. The twelve were in the inner circle. They were called the apostles. But Jesus once sent 70 of his disciples two by two to different towns and villages to preach the gospel. And in different places in the gospels we read multitudes of people followed Jesus. So they were all disciples of Jesus. The one who follows the master is the disciple. Today, all of us are called to be the disciples of Jesus. Can you say that you are a disciple of Jesus? We could surely say that we are believers. We are Christians. Because we have a Christian name. We have our name enrolled in the church. So we are Christians. But the question is, are you a disciple of Jesus Christ? Someone said, it is easy to be a Christian, but it is difficult to be a disciple. It is easy to be a Christian, but it is difficult to be a disciple. To be a di Christian, you need to have a Christian name or have membership in a church and pay your subscriptions. And now and then you attend the worship, that's enough. But to be a disciple of Jesus, it calls for more commitment, dedication and action. And we need to be on our feet 24 into 7. To be a disciple of Jesus is to follow him, is to listen from him and to obey his commandments and to do his will. So all these are involved in discipleship. Jesus 
called his first disciples the first disciples were called when they were casting their nets in the sea of galilee i if you could change the slide please in matthew chapter 4 from verses 18 to 22 we read how jesus called his first disciples saying come follow me i will make you fishers of men they obeyed they followed jesus and they became the disciples after about a year or so here jesus gives another call in luke chapter 9 verse 23 saying if any one would come after me let him deny himself take up his cross daily and follow me this is a call to deeper commitment so we have a call to discipleship and we and we obey jesus calls us for deeper commitment to discipleship the next slide please and we need to become a disciple in this there are three steps call to discipleship commitment to discipleship and the cost of discipleship so we are called to follow jesus and we are expected to commit our life to christ how shall we commit verses 20 verse 23 of luke 9 says deny yourself take up your cross daily and follow jesus denying oneself what do we mean by that during the season of lent we talk about self denial i will not do this or that i will save that money and bring it as an offering that is self denial but here jesus says deny yourself that is self denial is different from denying the self self the ego the big i in our life i need to empty myself in front of christ i should say lord i am nothing i am zero and you take charge of my life so that is denying the self paul had that experience he mentions in galatians chapter 2 verse 20 he said i have been crucified with christ no longer i that liveth but christ liveth in me so no longer i that live but christ lives in me i am nothing but christ to live in me so that is the discipleship we need to deny ourselves and take up the cross and luke adds the word daily take up the cross daily and follow jesus what does it mean to take up the cross jesus was not crucified when he pronounced this call probably he also never knew that he would be crucified but he said take up the cross what does it mean in that culture in that political scenario criminals will be crucified on the cross that means they will lay down their life and the criminals who are about to be crucified have to carry their cross beam in a procession in the streets to the public despise and finally they will be nailed or tied to the cross and be led there and left there to die so when a person carries the cross beam everybody knows that he is going to die in that context jesus said carry your cross and follow me that means if you follow me you are destined to die unless you are prepared to die for me you need not follow so to follow christ demands our life it's the cost 
that we need to pay today in the prosperity gospel people preach if you believe jesus jesus will bless you if you follow jesus you will get land wealth and all the worldly things that is not true if you follow jesus you will be misunderstood you will be despised if you really follow jesus as a disciple of jesus people will hate you but these are the things that you need to bear for christ so following jesus involves the high price of our own life elijah and elisha elijah took elisha as the disciple and elisha followed and bible says elisha had double portion of elijah's gifts that's what jesus also said the one who follows me will do greater things than me so if you follow jesus you will be endowed with the power of the holy spirit gifts of the holy spirit and you can do greater things so this discipleship is involved when you look unto the cross of christ so cross calls us to become a disciple so there's a call to follow jesus and if you commit your life and if you are willing to pay the price pay the cost then you can be a true disciple of jesus in the bible we see how the disciples of jesus were bold enough to proclaim the gospel and even to lay down their lives as 